Welcome and hello to yet another video with me, Rufus Gazelle, and we are just outside Bovington in Dorset, here at Clouds Hill. Quite a busy road here, but yeah, we are here at Clouds Hill, which is the former home, I believe the former home of Lawrence of Arabia. And he lived there, apparently, just down there. But we're not here for that, we are here for the trig point. So as you can see, the rain is literally tipping it down now. We've just left Clouds Hill behind, which was the home of T.E. Lawrence, better known as Lawrence of Arabia. That was his retreat here, just outside Bobbington. And there is a trig point, roughly in this area. I'm not sure. I think it's over the road in those trees on top of a tumuli, but it's just locating it. We have a lot of restrictions around here because obviously we have an active camp, an active army camp where they do all their tank training. We have to make sure as I cross the road and don't get run over that we don't go into any restricted areas and get into trouble. So we've got to try and find a footpath that will lead us to the actual trig point itself. There's obviously a signpost for Clouds Hill, which is where we come from. There is a footpath through here, which I'm going to try and take because I need to get off the main road. And uh, oh look, there's an old bollard from the road down in there. I'm guessing someone's hit it and it's gone flying into this hedge. Anyway, we're gonna head down this footpath. Hopefully we can access the trig point from down here without going into the actual training center um, where they do all their tank, you know, drills and whatever it is they do around here. Now I'm looking over there and there, there is a footpath, as you can see, where is it? Just here, there are footpath signs that we can take, but there is also other signposts off in the distance and they're basically warning us of either, I don't know, live fire or maneuvers with tanks, because they do a lot of maneuvers around here. And we do not want to enter into that sort of area. But the trig point is in that direction, but it's whether or not I can actually get over there. So let's just stick to the path itself and see where this is gonna take us. But I think we may be going in the wrong direction because that line there is fenced off and this is leading us away from where we need to be. So this isn't the right way. So let's go back. I'm, I'm my hunch, my gut instinct is telling me not to. And as we saw at the last trig, the one at Wolves Barrow Fort, our gut instinct is always right. As it was proven right at the last location at Wolves Barrow Camp. So, we're gonna go with our gut and go back to the road and follow it up and use that as the indicator and not venture off deeper into an area where we don't necessarily have to go. But at the moment, I'm probably being a bit daring. I've gotta literally walk along the side of the road at the moment until I can find a location point or a, a footpath that I know I can take. Um, this is quite risky. I should be really on the other side walking into traffic instead of walking with traffic coming from behind would make more sense. But we're on the right path now. We're heading in the right direction for this trig. And I know the trig itself isn't within the training ground. It is accessible to the general public, but it's just finding it. And I was hoping this one was gonna be an easy one in terms of it being literally by the side of the road. And it's turning out that it isn't quite that easy. So the problem with parking here at this trig point and it really is a very very busy road hopefully you can hear me but the problem with accessing this trig point is the parking is quite difficult there are laybys that you can park in which are a bit closer but the problem is you have these signs no parking at any time and that is because it's the Bovington training area and these gates are normally need to be accessible to the army they need to be able to come and go there is a lay-by just there, which I thought would have had the same issue with not being able to park there. But looking at it, it does look like you can. Um, so to that end, if you do come to this trig point, instead of parking where I was, you might be better off to park in that lay-by there. But it was only a short walk from Clouds Hill, which is just down there. So from here, guys, from this lay-by, which you cannot park in front of, we have a footpath which leads to the, to the actual trig point itself, which is just down there. So we're gonna get off the main road and hopefully 
this will lead us to where we need to go so we are okay as long as we stick to this footpath um, obviously you cannot go beyond this barbed wire fence because you are then in the training ground itself so just be aware that you do have to be careful around here because you will get into trouble although I don't think there will be any sort of military training going on today obviously for the main reason that we all are aware of right now and that is the passing of Queen Elizabeth II which was which sadly happened yesterday she passed away yesterday afternoon so I very much doubt there'll be any exercises happening today but nonetheless I wouldn't recommend going in there uh, you never know who's gonna pop out of a bush with a automatic rifle this is only gonna be a shortish video today simply because I don't really have far to walk I mean I thought the actual trig point was nearer the junction back there at Clouds Hill I didn't realize I, had to, I would have had to have walked so much further up the road. Maybe I should have parked in that lay-by back there, not the one that was restricted, but the other one on the other side. But knowing my luck, I'll come back and my car would have been squashed by some sort of Challenger tank or something. So I'm playing it safe, I got permission. The National Trust guys at Clouds Hill Car Park kindly let me park there without having to pay a fee so I could come up here and document this trig point. And I believe we are literally here i know it's on top of a tumuli and i believe this could be the tumuli look at this can't see the trig point yet but apparently this is the tumuli i call it according to the map i'm not sure what that ah there it is i can see it i can see it just there there's a little footpath that we can take here and like i said i'm not sure what that star is there but the trig point is here how i missed this when i drove down i don't know maybe i was thinking it was lower down and not so high up how stupid was I? So that was straightforward considering we had a bit of a walk. Literally there is nowhere to park down here um, unless you want to quickly dash out of your car, park it there, dash out quickly, put your hazards on and, and document it. But considering I want to vlog this, I need to make sure that I've got time to do so and not worry about where the car is. But I have no idea what this star is. If anyone knows what this star is, please let me know in the comments box. And the rain is starting to come down again, the wind is starting to pick up, but we have the trick point. Whew. I was a little bit concerned to where we were going and I was hoping that I wasn't misled and that the trick point itself was inside the training ground behind me. Luckily it's not, it is here, it is by the roadside, it is accessible. Right, so let's have a quick look at this trig. Looking on top guys, we have no plug in this one and it's not filled in with concrete like the previous two we've seen. You can see the ferrule inside which the Fjordalite sort of screws into and the anchor points there and there. Um, the flush bracket must be around this side. There's the flush bracket all the way down there. We'll do a 360 and we'll come back to the flush bracket in a minute. But here we go. I'm glad we found it and it didn't take too long because the weather is dramatically turning now as we get later on in the day. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this flush bracket down here and uh, get that blade of grass out of the way. S6075, that's Sierra 6075. So there we have it guys, trig point 7059 here at Wool Camp, just outside Bovington. This is the trig point, and this is me saying goodbye. We vlogged it, we bagged it, it's done. The rain is tipping it down, and we have one more trig point to find before we can call it a day. When you drive down this busy road towards Clouds Hill and Bovington, and that way is Wareham and Beer Regis, you can see the trig point on the side of the road on top of this tumuli, standing proud. You can't miss it, but you do have to look up slightly if you're in a car. But yeah, there it is, guys. So it is quite visible from the road. You just need to know where to look, that's all. I'm gonna head back to the footpath through here and uh, yeah, just stay away from this road, really. I just wanted to get a shot of the trig point from the other side of the road so you guys can sort of get some aspect of where it is when you're driving down without yeah i'm always tripping and falling it's because i'm filming and not looking really where i'm going so here we go we're gonna head back to the car now this was a shortish vlog uh the rain has slowly eased which is good i'm losing track of what exact number we're on in terms of bagging these trig points because i've done like this is my fourth one today so that must only mean one thing that this is number eight out of 103 trig points in the county of Dorset 
that we have located, found and bagged. I have to admit, I really do wish I had parked in that lay-by now, which is literally at the entrance to this footpath. But that's the reason why I do these vlogs. We've got trucks, we've got tractors going by, and if I had just parked in that lay-by there, the entrance to the footpath is here, and this takes you all the way to the trig point. Instead, I made the mistake of now having to leave the footpath and walk along the side of the road for about five minutes back down to Clouds Hill. But that's the reason why I do these vlogs. I make the mistakes so you guys don't have to make the mistakes. They're like gold. These videos are like gold when you're struggling to find a trig point. It does take away the adventure though if I'm doing it all for you in terms of locating them. So it's up to you whether you wish to watch the vlogs afterwards or before and try to avoid the mistakes that I have made. But that lay-by there is definitely where I would park next time. You can see and hear how busy this road is. Like I said, the footpath is through there. And that is a lot more safer than trying to walk back down that road. But I've got no choice, so hopefully I'll make it back. As we take a closer look at the map, you can see Bovington Camp. As we zoom in, you can see the T-junction at Clouds Hill and the National Trust car park. From the T-junction, we walked up the road towards the tumuli and the trig point location itself. You can see my marker on the map now where we're currently stood. Opposite me is the lay-by. I recommend you start here and park safely. From my location, we take the footpath all the way safely to the tumuli. Trig point 7059 here at Wool Camp is 88 meters above sea level. I think I'm gonna to stick to this side of the road because there seems to be an actual footpath here that I can follow instead of actually walking along the edge of the road over there, which is what I did on the way up. I didn't realize there was a footpath here. I'm not sure if it goes all the way down to Clouds Hill or whether it veers off into the actual forest in a minute, but at the moment it's a nice thing to have because there's nothing like walking on the road and having a 40 ton articulated truck come hammering down on you. Okay, so the footpath is like I thought heading off into the forest now. Um, Clouds Hill is the other way. That's the Lawrence Trail. So I'm gonna head down here, I think, just stay on this embankment all the way down to Clouds Hill. I've got tractors coming from all directions. Um, yeah, this is quite dangerous. I would recommend not doing this. As you can hear, there you go, see? Not the ideal place to be walking right now. And there we have the signs for Clouds Hill, the Tank Museum and Bovington Camp. This is roughly where we are. And the junction's just down there where that truck's turning, so I haven't got far to walk. I can't believe I walked on the other side of the road earlier and I didn't come along this footpath. I think that was quite a stupid mistake to make really without checking first. And as you can see, another tipper truck coming by. Yeah, maybe park in that lay-by if you were gonna come here and don't do what I did. <laughs> it's quite uh, treacherous down here, especially in the wet. And the footpath has now ended um, and I'm now back on the road again. But I haven't got far to go, so fingers crossed, eh? I don't get run over by, yeah, this lot. And we even have the Southwest Model Show on the 10th of September at the Tank Museum just down there at Bovington Camp. Yeah, if anyone's interested in the model show on the 10th of September, then uh, the Tank Museum is where you need to be. So like I said, when we turn at this junction, we've got Clouds Hill literally just here. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the vlog, this was the home of T.E. Lawrence, AKA Lawrence of Arabia, as we will famously know him as and uh, you do have to pay to go in. I don't really want to upset the National Trust members here, so I might just nip over and have a quick look without going in and then shoot on out of here. So here we have Clouds Hill Cottage. This is a private home, as you can see just down there, so I'm not gonna vlog too much of the house, but uh, yeah, this is the retreat of Lawrence of Arabia. Lovely house, a lovely retreat, a lovely cottage by all means. And there it is, that's where Lawrence of Arabia once lived. Fabulous. 
and this is the car park just across the road here. If anyone wants to pause this and take a look, by all means, read, go ahead if you can, that is. If I zoom in a bit closer on the information on Clouds Hill, you can maybe read upon the actual cottage itself. Um, by all means, pause the video now and read for yourself the history of Lawrence of Arabia and Clouds Hill and the fact that it's run by the National Trust. Unfortunately, he passed away during a motorcycle accident, not far from here actually, at Morton. Um, and he is buried, I believe, at Morton. So maybe one day we'll go there. And here is the Lawrence of Arabia Trail. A little bit more facts about him. Obviously feel free to read, pause the video at any certain point if you so wish to. And there is uh, Lawrence of Arabia in his dress robes and Lawrence of Arabia as a colonel. This has been Trig Point 7059 here, just outside Bovington. We're finishing the vlog at Clouds Hill. The actual Trig Point is at Wool Camp, just up the road. And all I've got left to say is thank you so much for watching. It's quite a busy road here. And I'll see you all in the next video, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, vlog over. <laughs>